What's going on everybody? It's me JP and today I'm going to show you the quick guide on keeping praying mantises. Okay, so just a little disclaimer. So this guide will not guarantee like a hundred percent your mantis will live a full long life because things happen like diseases, accidents, natural causes. Let's start with the enclosure. So what I'm showing you right now, this is like a good example an enclosure of a mantis so basically it's at least three times the height of my mantis right there and at least minimum two times the width of the mantis so this is good until or at least before the mantis reaches adulthood all right so besides the size of the enclosure you need to check the ventilation you need to have a good ventilation so that your mantis wouldn't overheat or experience some cold look at that mantis right there so besides the size the ventilation i also consider the design and structure of the enclosure so if your mantis can't hang just like this guy right here if your mantis can't do that please 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 switch enclosure okay but me personally I just want like a clear enclosure it doesn't have any um, like designs to it as long as it can grab on on the top I'm okay with it but look at this enclosure right here the other one right here so I put some substrate so to change things up but sometimes when you do that the feeders can escape just like this other guy right here let me just grab onto that all right so I try to feed this mantis with some super worms but I think she's not interested so the super worms transform into beetles right there but if you see something like this please remove it immediately but I'm gonna remove this after this video <laughs> So when feeding your praying mantis, make sure that the feeder is something they can grab because catch or they if can. they can't do that, of course they can't feed on it. Let me just grab a roach right here. Okay, here we go. So there's a roach. And I'm gonna try to offer it to the mantis. So this is basically what I do sometimes. If, okay, here we go. Sometimes they, they they don't take it and they just wait. And then that happens, and I hate when that happens. There you go strike all right okay so basically that's what I do when feeding my mantis right there okay so I feed them those roaches right there and when feeding praying mantises you can definitely feed them like every day but when you do that make sure that the feeder that you're feeding them is small because if you do that every day they're gonna be overfed and overfeeding paying mantis would lead to death okay so I'm gonna whoops sorry hey say hi hi to the camera okay so the next thing you should consider is the feeding so of course the feeders so this is from my culture 
almost escape right there. So this is from my culture of Blata Lateralis. So they are good for your praying mantis. You can easily gut load them or they can easily breathe. All right, all right. So size does matter when it comes to feeding your praying mantis. So this adult roach right here should be fed only two sub adults, two adults, and this nymph, <laughs> nymph right here should be fed maybe between like L3 to L5. And the little one right there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Like a small like nymph right there, right here. It can be fed to like L2s or even L1 sometimes. It depends on the mantis that you have. Okay, so besides giving the mantis food, definitely you give them water. So what I do, I use this small spray right here. And then when the mantis is feeding or sometimes if they're not feeding, I just spray some water like that to you know hydrate the mantis or change the temperature on the enclosure and that's about it that's just what I do so I just missed the enclosure so that they can drink on it on the sides I mean putting a water dish is not really advisable because they are not tarantulas they rarely like bend down and drink they can do that but not all the time so spraying water on the sides or at them can definitely work okay and the last thing I want to talk about is the placement of your pet mantis so it really matters where you put them especially for example um, you don't have a room specially designed or specially for your pet mantis so you just have to place them somewhere that there's no distractions no kids no other disturbances like maybe cars outside maybe um, neighbors like banging on the wall something like that so make sure that you place them somewhere that they have um, like a quiet environment and also away from ants because sometimes when you feed them there's like some parts of the feeder that is left out and then the ants go for it and then sometimes the ants attack your praying mantis well most of the time so make sure that you clean your enclosure and i mean if in the first place put them somewhere that the ants can access Okay, so I think that's about it on the basic guide on keeping praying mantises. That's what I love about them because they are low maintenance. So just do the things that I showed you earlier every maybe two to three times a week and they'll be fine. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you learned something new today, please share this video and if you are interested in any other mantis videos I'll be linking some of my videos on the description below thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video bye bye